Hey there everyone, this is Hitesh and I'm back with another video. Now this video is not anything technical, teaching you anything or talking about what I think about the world or anything like that. In this video, I just would like to say thank you so much for letting me hit the 5000 subscribers. I know people are having 100,000s and everything, but everything is motivating for me and 5000 subscribers is a big deal for me. So I would like to say thank you so much for the 5000 subscribers as well as I would like to share my story of how I got started in the YouTube. So I won't be adding any of the teasers or anything in my channel uh, in this particular video. Uh, but I would like to say that yes, my journey with the YouTube was a little bumpy and uh, let me just share how I got started. So I created my YouTube channel almost three or four years back. It was not a channel where I was uploading anything. It was just an account where I was viewing the people's uh, uploaded things or the people's video. It was pretty good for me. YouTube is very entertaining. I was learning a lot of things from the YouTube. And also on top of that, I was hitting a lot of subscribe to the people who regularly do upload or, or their channel are really good and I love to watch what they say. So within uh, almost a year, I was having almost no videos on my channel. After that, I got interviewed on a media channel for some of the other stuff, pen testing and everything. And I thought, hey, why not to share this video with public? And uh, I, I got that video and uploaded that on my channel. And uh, it was pretty good videos, got a couple of hundred hits and that was a big deal for me. And obviously I got a couple of subscribers, I guess five or eight subscribers, which was not very much motivating to get started in the YouTube. So uh, I never actually even thought that YouTube could be my choice and I would be getting into this field, which is really great. And to be honest, I underestimated the power of the YouTube. I thought uh, YouTube is just a free platform and people would not be much more interactive on the uh, on the free platform. They would be just watching the videos and will be going out and it's, it's not good. And obviously it was a naive move and uh, I was completely, totally wrong about the YouTube, what I, what I thought about it. So uh, after a couple of years, I thought that, hey, why not to give it a chance to the YouTube? And at that time, I was already creating a lot of videos. And most of those videos were for uh, the paid people who are uh, my subscribers on different platforms. A lot of websites uh, are there on which I serve and upload my videos and entire course curriculums and the boot camps where people can uh, pay and can get subscription of all of my content. But I thought let's upload a few of the contents on the YouTube and uh, it got a pretty good response and uh, nobody is just perfect in their early days about video making and all these process so neither was I. I. I uploaded a few stuff, got a few hit of the subscribers but this was not at all motivating. Uh, I wasn't earning much on the YouTube uh, so I thought uh, let's just drop this idea. And after, after when I got a lot into the video development for a lot of website and I was doing a lot of paid stuff for that, I thought let's give it a one more try and this was not even <laughs> to get some of the subscribers. I was learning NS3 for one of my project and I thought it's very tough to learn NS3 which is a geeky topic. I know a lot of people might be already aware of that. So in the NS3 I, I was facing a lot of problem in installation and in setting up the environment everything so I thought uh, let me just record all of these videos for my future reference and I uploaded them on the YouTube. And to my surprise for the next four months, I didn't even open my account. Yes, that that's what I did. And uh, after the four months when I came back, I realized that every video was having 50,000 views and 60,000 views. So from a couple of hundred views to the 60,000 views, that was a big move for me and that was pretty crazy, pretty insane for me that how am I getting so much of the views and people are subscribing to my channel and writing me email, why don't you upload more content, your content is great. Uh, thank you so much for saying that and I thought it's, it's really a good idea and good time to get started and be active on the YouTube. So I thought let's give it one more try and I tried it with my other channel. And that didn't even got uh, much of the success, got a hundred subscriber, but that was not at all even motivating. So I stopped that again. Uh, obviously I have to earn a little bit, I have to pay my bills. So I again got back into the paid video stuff. And uh, to my surprise again, a lot of people suggested me, they were really good suggestions and they were pretty big YouTubers in their country. They said, why are you making a new channel? Why don't you just continue with your uh, previous channel? It is already having some subscribers. People are waiting that your content should get on air and they are waiting you to uh, put some things and watch them. 
So I thought, okay, that is a good advice and I got started in the YouTube again. You might have been watching this. From the last couple of months, I'm getting too much active on the YouTube. So I got a lot of subscribers and to be honest, uh, in the one or two years of my channel, I got almost 1000 subscribers. And within the last two months, I got almost 2000 subscribers. So this is this is a big time leaps uh, gap uh, in a one or a couple years. I'm getting thousand and within just two months, I'm getting 2000 subscribers, which is a big deal for me. So I thought that uh, I'm going to be active on the YouTube again. I would be putting much more content, much more fresh content on the YouTube. And I realized that people are getting interacting. Uh, people are interacting with me. They love my content. So why not to put more content? And with this, uh, I would like to say that, yes, I would be uploading a lot more content on the YouTube. Uh, this is really overwhelming response for me. And uh, one more thing that I would be adding on my channel now is a lot of new playlists. I realized that my recent playlist, Hello World, got a lot of attention of the people. So I would be adding more content and I would be adding more playlists. Uh, like, for example, the web dev playlist, the iOS 10 playlist, and there would be one more, which is going to be the YouTube uh, playlist. I know, I know a lot of stuff about uh, video making, the lightning, uh, how you can do DIY stuff uh, for your own videos. So I would be adding a new playlist for that. And I would be also talking about how you can earn money from the YouTube, which is a big deal. And I would like to say honestly that uh, you don't make much money with the YouTube, but it's not like you are just earning some uh, pennies with the YouTube. YouTube income is pretty good. And it's not something from which you can buy a Harley within <laughs> within the initial days, but uh, it's not even that bad that you cannot pay even the bills of the internet or can buy an iPhone. Within my two months of the revenue, I, I think I can buy a pretty decent phone, not the iPhone 7, but yes, I can buy uh, almost iPhone 6 or 5S, something like that. So I would be sharing how you can get started with the YouTube, can uh, make it a paid platform, pretty good. Earning is YouTube is not that much high, but it's not that much low. It's pretty decent. You can survive with that. And a lot of stuff is going to be coming up. So with this, I would like to say that uh, do hit to subscribe uh, to my channel and uh, do hit uh, the like on the video as well. If you think somebody can get benefit from my channel, do recommend the channel for them. And uh, I would be adding a lot of content. So with this, again, thank you so much for letting me hit the 5000 subscribers. I will obey what I say and I would be adding a lot of more content which would be really super cool. So with this, let's go ahead and I know this is a little bit overwhelming but let's go ahead and I'll see you in the next movie where some technical stuff will go on.